All right, today I'm looking at the male reproductive model. And so there is a part of this model that goes on and sticks on. This is the scrotum, the testes, the epididymis. Take this off and you can see the scrotum being the sac, the testes in the middle. And the epididymis is harder to separate here. It's much easier to separate right there. At the base of the epididymis, so again, scrotum, testes, this is the flat purple board model here as opposed to the 3D model that we were looking at right there. Um, we have the testes, here's the epididymis. As you get down to this bottom part, this becomes the vas deferens or ductus deferens, following it around, and here we see it coming up over the bladder. And this is the seminal vesicles right here. This becomes the ejaculatory duct when fluids from the seminal vesicles and the vas ductus deferens join and that runs through part of the prostate. And so we've got the prostatic urethra right here. Now I'm going to go back over to this model. So here's that ejaculatory duct. Here's the prostatic urethra. And if we look at the outside of this, we can see the vas ductus deferens. This is a ureter coming in right there. And it goes, and we see the seminal vesicles here. This is the prostate from the outside. And keep in mind how that matches up and lines up. So if I could separate that with this urinary model that we've discussed in the past. Same structures, just different places and slightly different looks. Now, the urethra continues, and here we have the membranous urethra moving through muscle. And, if I, and then we've got the penile urethra here. Now, I'm going to switch back to the purple model for a minute. On here, this is the area where we have the membranous urethra, and this little dot here, represented by number 8, is that bulbal urethral or Cowper's gland that dumps part of the material into the urethra, part of the material for semen. And so the urethra continues down through the penile urethra. You have the root, which is the internal portion, the shaft, which is the external portion. In blue, we have erectile tissue surrounding the urethra here, and that is the corpus spongiosum, corpus because there's only one of these. This other blue stuff here that's got lines going out to the side, so this stuff here, which you see also right over here, this is the corpora cavernosa. Remember, there are two columns of this if you look at the actual cross section of a penis slide. The glans penis may or may not be covered by a foreskin or prepis, and that is present here. Um, and so the glands is this region directly underneath. And so here we are looking at the glands. Back here we have the glands covered by that foreskin. Now I do want to point out here that you've got the idea of the anus, the rectum on this model as well as the bladder. This is the pubic symphysis area as well. Um, so good overview of the male reproductive system. I appreciate your attention. Oh wait, one more thing. Sperm. There's a sperm up here. So in blue, you've got the covering for the head, the acrosome, that releases enzymes. The DNA is in the head, so this red goes all the way up underneath. You have the midpiece and the flagella, or tail, of the sperm. So major parts of a sperm, easily asked on this purple model. Thank you.